Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is CB Harris. Today we're going to take a look at a pair of tactical pants that are not too tactical. So these are the Stealth Operator Pants from Condor Outdoors. And what do I mean by not too tactical? Well, they're specifically designed to try to blend in with a lot of different activities. So uh, yes, they are tactical pants, but they try to blend in a little bit more with your day-to-day -day life. So let me just tell you a little bit about them first, about the specs. And then we'll get into some of the things that I like and dislike about them. So first off, they're a polyester blend. Okay, It's a ripstop material, and uh, it's pretty lightweight and pretty comfortable. Now, uh, some of the features, what we have, we have a elastic on the side, allow a little bit of expansion. So, you know, if you ate that extra grande burrito, uh, it's going to help you out a little bit on that. As well, if you are carrying concealed inside the waistband, it has a little bit of expansion there just to give you a little bit more breathing room and a little bit more comfort. Uh, as far as tactical part goes, I think the D-rings, that's really the thing that sets it apart as being a tactical pant. Uh, it has four of them, uh, two in the front, two in the back for clipping things to. The pockets, pretty deep pockets. The back pocket does not have a flap. I kind of prefer that personally, but that is a personal choice. Uh, front pocket, very deep. It has a reinforced section for your pocket knife. Uh, everywhere that you would imagine you would need extra stitching, it's got it. The cargo pocket, this is what really sets it apart from other tactical pants, I think. It's an inset pocket, and it doesn't have all the pleats that a lot of cargo pockets have. So you're not going to balloon out on the side. Yeah, you're not going to fit a day's worth of MREs in the pockets, but at the same time, you're not going to look ridiculous having these giant hips, I guess, because they're not going to balloon out as much. And that it really comes down to that stealthy part. You know, they, they just kind of blend in a little bit better. Inside the cargo pocket is another hidden pocket. Uh, this one will fit, you know, your electronic device, your phone, something like that. It'll also fit an AR-15 or M4 magazine pretty easily. There is one other pocket. That one is inside the knee, and that one is specifically for knee pads. So if you need that in your life, uh, whether you're at the range or whether it's just what you do for a living, uh, it does have a spot for those. So let me tell you some of the things that I like and dislike about these pants. Uh, let's start out with the negative things because I like to end on a positive note because really I do like these pants a lot. So as far as negatives go, really the only negative I have has to do with that pocket that's inside the knee. Um, when I look on Condor's website, I can't find internal knee pads anywhere. I can't find knee pads for these pants. Uh, what I find are the knee pads that go on the outside of your pants, but nothing for the inside. Uh, I tried a different brand, you know, a, a different type of knee pad, the, the little foam stuff, and it just shifted around in there. It's not designed for these pants, so it just moved and it didn't sit right. So I think that uh, Condor would be, uh, I think it would be smart for them to make something that's specifically for these pants, uh, designed to fit, designed to actually fit in place and not shift around on you. The only other negative I have is on, I think it's on me. I think, I don't know if they fit a little large, maybe I'm losing weight, I don't know. That's possible. Uh, I bought them a size larger specifically for that concealed carry. Uh, not really thinking about the elastic part. And uh, so they, they are a little bit big on me. Uh, again, I don't think that's a negative on the pants or the company or anything like that. I think that I just, something that you should be aware of if you're going to buy these. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy the next size up if you're gonna use them for concealed carry. So as far as the positives go, the comfort, the functionality, the comfort level when you're moving and active is definitely there. So some of the features I didn't mention is the gusseted crotch and the articulated knee. What this allows is uh, some good freedom of movement, especially that gusseted crotch, you know, squatting, bending, kneeling, things like that without that pinching and binding that you get from some pants. Uh, definitely not an issue with these. I also like the way these things look. They look good in a lot of different places. So my typical day might include me uh, teaching in a military classroom to uh, military students, so I want to look a little bit nicer. I'm trying to present a good image, but I might go straight from there out to the shooting range. Might go from there to the shoot house or to our force on force village where I'm doing, you know, op four, uh, playing the bad guy, you know, running around trying to shoot the uh, blue four. And these will t make that transition quite well. You know, they're still functional. They, they definitely are an active pant, you know, it allows me to move around really easy. So I can move from those environments without any issue whatsoever. Don't have to change my clothes. They fit in there well. Now, as far as off of work, they don't scream CCW, okay? They don't scream, hey, that guy might be carrying concealed. Uh, some tactical pants, honestly, they do scream it. These ones might whisper at tactical pants and CCW, but not, 
not too loud. Uh, really, from a distance, they look like just plain old khakis. Uh, once you get up close and you start seeing some of the features, you might start wondering. But for the most part, they blend in in the civilian environment really quite well. So what are the price? What's the damage going to be? Actually, that's my, my final say as far as the value goes. Excellent value. The MSRP is $49.95, but you shouldn't be paying that. Everywhere I've seen online at different retailers is $38.95. If you ask me for a tactical pants, that is an excellent value, especially when you're talking about the features that you're getting with these. Now, as far as durability goes, that's something I really can't talk to. I've had these for about a week now, so I really can't say whether or not they're going to last the long haul. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, next summer, if these things are still around, we'll come back and talk about them again. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, it is always appreciated when you like and share the videos. And don't forget to check out the Stealth Operator Pants from Condor. Remember that your mind, that is your most important tool, and it is vitally important to be armed with information. Until next time, take care and be safe. Charlie Bravo, out.